BL louder than ever, bringing you the fire. It's DJ Rusticles. It is an early sun and after dark today. This is going to be the first show of the day. I think it's the only live show we're going to do, except for when Jake and Stevie decide to do their little weightlifting competition. We will try to go live on and do that. I'll, I'll do that with my phone. In the room, we got Jay Jones from Car Audio Direct. He's our one of That's our Canadian uh, distributors yeah. um, in the Toronto area. Actually, well, you'll yeah. ha- you'll handle the whole province. Uh, actually, the whole country. Yeah, we've got dealers across Canada. Well, damn, look at that. Yeah. We've got Ethan sitting over here. He just popped in while we started the show. Hey, he's, Ethan. he's almost Canadian. <laughs> he's almost, he's he's actually more almost? Canadian than Jay. <laughs> he's higher up. He's more north. Oh, yeah? yeah. Where about <laughs> Maine? Yeah, he's yeah, up no, Maine. No, you're definitely, yeah, that's, that's more north. <laughs> We've yeah. got R.P. Patel from Soundcheck in, in, in the house. We're going to talk about some what he's been up to lately, just blowing the competition away over here. Um, and then we got Jake. You know, you guys know what Jake. Up? That guy. <laughs> Now, um, let me go ahead and switch these cameras so everybody can see. I'm noticing the quality on the YouTube side looks kind of shitty. Uh, if if you guys are watching, does how is the quality? Because it doesn't look good on my end. The video, for some reason, just looks like trash. It says excellent connection. I don't know. Hopefully, that's just... Did you my, click the low fidelity option? Hopefully, it's just my side of things. Um yeah, we'll see how it goes. Does it say like what the resolution? Well, is? see, here's Wrong. the deal. Nick was I can check on my phone. If you want. Nick Wright was in this room last night pressing buttons. He fucked with all your oh. shit. And I don't know 
I don't know if he pressed with video settings or not. <laughs> he said, and I quote, man, this shit's all brined up. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so everybody says it's looking good. So that's, that's good. All right, we're going to start off with Jay, kind of work our way around the table. I guess, Ethan, we'll talk about what's going on uh, with you guys over there Sweet. at the Amp Lab. All your uh, adventures and Ethan stuff. Ethan has some toys. R us. Yep. Did you bring yeah. any, any cool stuff no, today? No, so I thought our amps were going to be in, and I was going to have some here. God damn it. As, yeah. as, soon as, as soon as we start talking, music goes up out there. We might have to shut that door here. Anyway, we're, again, we're, we're doing it live. All doing right? it live. Um, if you guys have questions for any of these people on, at, at the table today, go ahead and, and uh, put your questions in there. I don't, I don't expect to have a lot of viewers this early in the day. Um, yeah. But you guys, again, there will yeah. be people later on watching it over. So Jay, yeah, I want to start. I want to I want to talk about how you you started off in the car audio industry, and okay. um, it's just kind of where where you started and how you got to where you are now, and how you ended up being one of our distributors and, and all that good stuff. Right on. So let's let's start from the beginning. How do, how did you get your foot in the industry? So I was born. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> uh, start from your mother's womb. Yeah, yeah from mother's <laughs> womb. Uh, okay, so car audio, nineteen ninety six. Uh, I opened Pick up, up my, sticks. yeah, 1996, I was 15 years old and I opened my, uh, my own little installation shop called JJ installations out of my garage. Gotcha. I was 15 years old, <laughs> but yeah, we were doing it out of the garage and, uh, hey, at we, least you started in a garage. I started yeah. in, a, in, a, in, a, in a parking lot. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> but in high school we were, we were building stereos in shop class. Like mm -hmm. we were building boxes in shop class out of, at the time we were building them out of plywood. Yeah. Uh, you know, we were, like, we were like, well, at the time we didn't. Nobody, you know, 1996. Yeah. You know, birch ply wasn't a thing back then as far as building boxes, all about MDF uh, or particle board. But now we're at that point where, yeah, I didn't realize it. But we were building, we were building boxes. We were, you know, doing a whole bunch of different things. And then the competition bug bit me. And so we started competing. Thank you, um, Matt G. Pardon me? Oh, somebody sent a super chat. So oh. I'm sorry. I just said thank you. Oh, nice. Right on. <laughs> Yeah, that's so beer. We, that's beer money for today. Beer money, nothing wrong. Yeah. Beer money. Uh, that doesn't buy you much beer in Canada. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> you, your beer is like a tenth it, the price it, of ours. It'll get you a couple good ones here. A case of beer in Canada is like sixty dollars. Good so, lord. Yeah. And your oh, gas. Don't 60, get me started 60, on your fuel 60 here, man. Canadian or American? Uh, Canadian. So that's like that's like fifty 40, American. No, no, forty-five. That's did, still I didn't, way I didn't get expensive. Get the joke out for us. I was like, "What is that? Five dollars?" Yeah. yeah <laughs> it's, so it's thirty percent. So if every hundred dollars US, about one hundred and thirty Canadian. Jeez. So when I make an order from you guys, remember that I have thirty percent more. <laughs> All right, keep going. Uh, yeah. we're, by the way, we're going to derail a lot here. No, so for sure, that's what we yeah, do, okay. right? Um, do you want a drink? I've got some. Absolutely, something in there. I absolutely. think. Absolutely. Uh, we haven't really see, get you a water or, hey, or Ethan, whatever you, that whatever that red Steve, stuff why don't you bring is. Bring Stevie a beer. Where's all hey, the Stevie beer, man? <laughs> yeah. So I got Crystal bringing some White Claws later. You know what? Speaking it's of drinks, hold on. Let me do this right now. Let me get this out of the way. So. It's customary as Canadian to bring a gift. Thank you very much, Jacob Scott. That's, Jacob that's Scott, more, is he here? That's more beer money. 50 bucks, Jacob Scott. Oh. Yeah. There's that There's that case in Canada. Jacob. <laughs> nice. I talk to Jacob every day. Um, so it's customary as Canadian to always bring a gift whenever you go somewhere. Right. Whether it's a bottle of water or something else. So Get this some, is a celebration. I was going to bring a beer, and I'm like, you know, I can't bring beer. The beer doesn't do it. So I brought something a little bit different. Oh shit! All right, what you got for us, Jay? I brought you a bottle of Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades. Ace what of is Spades that? champagne. I don't know if you guys have ever had this. Champagne. But, uh, never had it. This is the. Oh, we got this some is cups. The, the we got serious, some cups. serious stuff. But I don't know if it's kind of, kind of warm. But see what happens. Let's open the box, please. Oh, so this shit, is. Uh, Look at that. Yeah, this is the king. Are we allowed to have some now? That looks fan. It's fancy. pretty. Yeah, it is. It it's fancy stuff. It's fancy stuff. Let me do the product cam real quick. Yeah, there you go. Right here. So I figured it would look really nice up there in the box. Oh, hold on. That opener. Up. It's got that tax seal on it. I figured, you know, what? Well, <laughs> we may as well start with that, right? Why would we drink at the end when we could drink now? Yeah, we, I today. Can't, I can't drink yet. I'll drink. Dang. You can't drink yet. We've oh, got, you got, he's got his bottle. lift. That's a good pre-order. Wow. Yeah, look that's, at that. It's serious stuff. Ooh. Are we allowed to drink that? Or do yeah. you want us to just. Absolutely, man. It looks man. way that's too what, fancy. It's pretty fancy. Well, let's, <laughs> it's pretty fancy let's stuff. Let's drink this after lunch. Yeah. When I can. We'll chill it. You know what? We'll chill it. Put it in the fridge. Yeah. You want to put it in the fridge? Yeah, yeah, put, put it in the fridge, fridge right now. Well, this is beautiful, too. Thank you, Jay. No, no problem, guys. It's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, this, this is... is uh, I can reach right now. Where's the... Yeah. 
Yeah, that's fine. That works. That's that's. Make sure you. We'll make sure you're in this room when we crack Store it open. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> if you want me on a second podcast, you let me know. I'm. I, I, for those of you that don't know, by the way, uh, I flew down here. So we're from Toronto area, uh, Hamilton, about an hour south of Toronto. So we flew down here from there. I shouldn't say we. Just me. You have to be vaccinated to come back into Canada. Sorry, to come to the U.S., you have to be vaccinated. Still. So yeah, still till the Damn end of September. Government taking her gerbs yeah sorry oh it's it's horrible that's why i went to slam i was the only one from my whole crew that could go right? yeah well you know you're not so, gonna see me get vaccinated either sorry no but that's fine you can come to canada and you can fly back home but if you're canadian you can't fly into the u.s unless you're vaxxed do, do i guess they for an american coming to canada that's do, I still, do, I, <laughs> do i need to get tested at least i think are they still doing no, that i don't think so can it, canada was thank one, you very much yeah don't orgasm yeah, yeah. no I, I probably shouldn't say this on the internet but justin trudeau is a yeah <laughs> yeah well, everyone says no, that. We, we understand oh boys it's worse than you think byron chamberlain yeah. sent us 50 I for my buddy, wedding shenanigans thank you very old, much byron. i got an old dude i'm friends with in ecuador he's originally from wales and then he lived in canada for a while and then he moved down to ecuador and he's like the biggest conspiracy nut in the world oh, but, no. I, but i love it Oh yeah, because he's old, you know. So it's, it's he's like seventy five, and he's like everything is like this, and he's like Trudeau's new world Durr, order, Durr, this and that. Man. And I was like, yes, but tell me more. Hey, there, there's conspiracies that he's actually uh, Fidel Castro's son. Okay. So his father oh. was the prime minister of Canada, and was really good friends with Fidel Castro. So there's side by side comparisons of him and hmm. Fidel Castro, and they look exactly alike. That's weird. but he looks well, nothing like his actual. We father. gotta see him with a beard first. I'm telling you, yeah. you check it out put, later. Put it's, that hat it's on. insane, man. And his <laughs> new haircut, he looks like uh, Lloyd Christmas from uh, <laughs> from Dumb and Dumber. Oh shit, which is bad. Well, you know, but just... uh, anyways, I got totally off off track there. So yeah, we got into. Yeah, that's good, man. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not even drinking. Imagine if I was. Uh, so we got started. We we started competing in '96. Um, for a couple of years, and then we got into the series competing, uh, DB drag racing, that sort of thing. Uh, went to World Finals in 2000. Came actually we tied for first place in Super Street one to two. So we did. Uh, I think it was 161.2 dB. So that's good in 2000. Mind you, the mics were 8 dB. Yeah, six, yeah, six yeah. to 8 dB <laughs> louder back then. We call right. it Canada versus US. Yeah, but two <laughs> two Serban Vega Stroker 18s and four US Amp 2000 Xs. That's what we were using, and then eight four or uh, six and eight volt batteries run in series. Uh, golf cart batteries. That's yeah. where we were at, man. Twenty two yeah. years ago. Mm-hmm. Did you compete so, with Scotty Johnson and stuff? Back I then? did. So I did. He remember yeah. his batteries with the Optima. One of them was he cut Optimas on a table saw. Yep. No, I didn't yep. see that. He cut the op- the twelve volt Optimas into thirds. And then hooked a third of each to a 12 volt optimum to make 16 volt batteries. Oh, come on. Is that how he did it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's pretty wild. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. Like, totally on a table saw, dude. <laughs> That's nuts. So so we had a we had a big crew back in the day that, that actually competed out of Canada. Uh, Chase, custom car audio. I don't know if you guys know Chase. Uh, Frankie Valenti from 20 Hertz. Everybody knows 20 Hertz. No? You know 20 Hertz Sounds audio? Familiar. I, I yeah. know that. Yeah. yeah, they were world record holders for a few years. And then, obviously, the famous Nick Cimino. <laughs> we, won't, we won't go too far. Where's Hank? Nah. Hank's going to bust through the Listen, wall. Listen, I think those two secretly love each other. Hey, oh, thank I you very much, it. Kevin L., for the I five guarantee bucks. guarantee it. Oh, yeah. Secretly, they love each other. Maybe, because Hank will even troll me. If Nick doesn't like <laughs> yeah. you, he won't talk to you. But if he likes you, he'll hate on you. Right. I, I, you know, that's what he does. So if I see him, he gives me a hug and then gives me shit mm. for no, no apparent reason whatsoever. But, Sounds like uh, Hank. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So, H- Hank's uh, good. Hank's good. wholesome. <laughs> yeah. So we, uh, so yeah, we competed up until '03, uh, and then I started a couple of different businesses in a different category, uh, and then I actually, sorry, I worked for Mark Distribution, which was the distributor for MA Audio, Thump, all the, yeah, all those fun brands back in the day. <laughs> actually, Jake, uh, that Kevin guy is kind of right. You're you're doing your mic incorrectly. I'll fix it up for you. What? It's kind of loose if I take it down. I, I, I tightened it up today. Oh, okay. Kind of drew it over everything. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you want to. Sundown powerlifting. That's a nice shirt. I like that. Yeah. Oh, what's up, Dave? How's it going? Doing well. Dave, where's the tank top? I got, I got some on backup. <laughs> <laughs> so this room's probably going to be a revolving door today uh, during this show. I think this is again the only um, live show we're going to do today. So, but. Brian's Again, gonna, people no, will be cool. in and out. At the rate of Super Chats, Brian's going to retire after this. <laughs> yeah. That's all going towards our, uh, what's it called? The uh, Beer. No. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. So I had a couple of friends say that I was supposed to give you this for your bachelor party. Okay. 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 Yeah, so bachelor this party. Is, oh, I don't have it with me. Okay. Well, anyways, I'll give you two of these. Oh, shit. So this is. 
one hundred dollars Canadian. Ah, I wish there was. <laughs> I don't have a hundred on me. So the hundred dollar Canadian bill smells like the, maple huh, syrup. I, <laughs> I that, showed JP. JP didn't believe me. But looks, there you go, brother. That's that's from, uh, that's from that's from the boys up in Canada. It's a hundred dollars Canadian. Yeah, so that's like you can see through it. Seventy nine dollars US. Do these have volume control on them? These are so loud. So loud. So you're. I'll, really? turn, yeah. I'll turn up your. Turn your thing down. Turn it up. Don't, turn it please up. don't turn it up. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your number's seven. Maybe I talk too loud. No, no, no. Is that better? That's, that's loud. loud. Okay, I turned Crazy it down. Crazy loud. Nick was over. Was here last night, just turning knobs and shit, <laughs> and, and, and th- it's nothing set properly. Oh, dude, he, he had every knob turned that you can imagine. <laughs> Thank you again. No, this, no worries, man. This, yeah. This, this, I don't know if I could use this in America, but no, uh, you just go get it exchanged, or you I put them up on get the wall. It. I, 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 maybe I'll take. Hey, I'll hold a fifty. You tuck, yeah, you tuck that in the thing that. and see what happens. You know what? You give you give Hold that. String. You take that to the titty bar, and the girl's just gonna just gonna turn you away. Yeah, they're gonna think it's yeah. monopoly I, money. Uh, so, uh, no Did, joke. Your, your money just, looks so much cooler than ours. By oh, the way. our money is amazing. I love her. You can't rip it. Try and rip what, what it. I'm not that? gonna try to rip. No, it. No, no. Seriously, it's all plastic. I'm you can't, you can't you, rip it. You, you try. To yeah, rip watch. It. Where, if this rips, from? I'm gonna look like a douchebag. But <laughs> this don't, don't go too will hard with it. Not rip. Oh wow! See that? Jesus. It's also waterproof and everything else. It's plastic. It literally is plastic. Where is this from? Canadian. Oh, Canada. Oh. Yeah. You want to see it? So, 100 bucks worth like $79. P- pass it down. It's yeah. the machine. Here, I'll just take one. There you go. I'll it's the, the machine. He's watching. Dave can rip it. Oh, Hunter's That's, on? Yeah. <laughs> Good old Hunter. Uh, <laughs> Thank you again. No, no worries, that, brother. So. No worries. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, when you go to the titty bar. That's why. So, I'm going to make my spiders out of Canadian money. <laughs> hey, there That's you go. That's a great idea, man. It won't rip. I don't know how you're going to. You can't rip yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> you can't. Yeah, yeah. Dead serious, it won't rip. <laughs> and if you rip it in Canada, they just you can put. Ethan, a being so it. far up up into Maine, do you say a from time to time? No. No. I no asked, you got good lobster. I asked though. Dave yesterday yes. if I have any accent, and he said no. he doesn't think I have any. So yeah, accent. very little. On that, w- we were we were right on the Canadian border in New Hampshire. Yeah. yeah. That's that's like the French speaking area. Like yes. a lot of the oh, signs yeah. in New Hampshire yeah, where we were, were in also no in shit. Like yeah. Montreal's across the border or something. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Montreal, Laval. Okay. Uh, Quebec City's up a little bit. When higher, I went to Maine, I noticed a lot of people up there have that uh, uh, northeast. What, 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 uh, what do you call that? New, New English, New England speaking, English. like like yeah. Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah, it kinda kind of made like it. It kind of Boston made accent. its way up yeah. to Maine. Lobster. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that shit bothers me. By the way, lobster. <laughs> lobster. I, I can't stand the way they talk up there. <laughs> and I'm from Philly, and we talk like like dumbasses. Okay, but still. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody can top Brooklyn. Oh yeah, that can get rough, but you can get used to that. That's from. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jay, back to your your okay. beginnings. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, when, what did I get to about 2010? 20, um, 20 hertz sure. Guys, yeah. yeah, 20 hertz. So we were we were competing for a while. We we stopped. Uh, I went down a different road, venture wise. Opened up a couple of small businesses. They were really successful uh, up until we were just talking about this earlier, Brian and I. So 2019, end of 2019, we had a banner year with our one business. It did amazing. And then uh, COVID, we started to hear this word COVID in December right. 2019. Yep, yep. Um, and in Canada, it was... In, in it, China at it, the time. Yeah. In Canada, like, our, uh, your media is bad. In our, our media, there's only a couple media outlets. You guys mm-hmm. have a whole bunch. And it was every day. And I said to my wife, because it's a, it's a wedding-based industry, our wedding-based business that we have. And I said to my wife, I'm like, you know what? I got a bad feeling about this. Uh, we need to, I need to pivot. I need to do something different. Uh, and I, I was already investing in some car stereo businesses in the area and stuff like that. Um, and I said to her, you know what? I'm going to start uh, a distributional business. I want to, I want to do that. And then, uh, you know, direct to consumer company on the side kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And she's like, go for it. So, you know, took some funds and uh, started Car Audio Direct March 3rd, it's 2020. Nice when you, it's nice when you have a woman back you. My wife. So, <laughs> so I, I just uh, look. I'm going to go off topic really quick. But it's I went okay. to see JP a couple weeks ago on my 12th anniversary. Mm-hmm. So we went to Vegas, my wife and I, and we did a little bit of business while we were there. But I actually reproposed to my wife while I was in Vegas. Oh, nice! Congrats. And bought her a new ring because uh, I wasn't, uh, you know, when I bought her first ring, I wasn't, you know, yeah, I wasn't no, doing great. Man, I was working at Best Buy, you know, it was a long time ago. Hey, been there. So I, uh, <laughs> I, you know, I was able to, uh, you know. Ring. Things are better now, so I was able to get her in a really nice ring. Yeah, and I'll, I'll probably post that video. JP sent me the video. Him and uh, Jessica were there, and and they took a video while I I actually got down on one knee in front of the Bellagio fountain. Hell yeah! We tried to do it at the top of the Eiffel Tower, 
and the Eiffel Tower was shut down. And we oh. went for dinner. The four of us went for dinner at, at the Eiffel Tower. And you're all nervous as shit. Oh, I bet. not really, man. The first time I was. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, this is your second time. You don't know if she's going to say no. Yeah. <laughs> you know? She kind of stuck saying yes this time. But this time, when she <laughs> sees the ring and she's getting upgraded, yeah, she didn't say no. Yeah. But I just, uh, yeah. So, anyways, big long story short, yes, my wife is amazing. Um, she's a nurse in Canada, takes care of little babies. She's the best. So uh, she's always been like right behind me in anything I do. So we started Car Audio Direct March 3rd, 2020, and my other business shut down March 17th, 2020. Mm. Exactly right. two weeks after we started it. Wow. And uh, yeah, so it was it was a rough two years for that company. But, you know, everything came to fruition and this business just absolutely took off. Uh, we didn't expect it to happen the way that it did because um, most car audio businesses take a long time to grow but we already had a, a big following a lot of people that knew us in canada uh the guys will be on here watching too eventually yeah um uh, we have a good core group of guys and i'm telling you we we don't spend any money on advertising absolutely zero dollars yeah, we were like that for a long time yeah we uh we're, we're strictly organic right now so it's, that's the uh, best way to grow yeah and you know the business just absolutely took off and then so now we've got 47 dealers on our roster across canada um we're taking on more if there's any out there um but uh yeah it's it's been incredible we, we picked up some great brands especially the one on yeah. that wall i have to tell a little story about how you got involved with us oh should i no, should, I'll, should I'll, we no i'll i'll tell you should, should I'll, we do I'll this? Do you think it's a good idea, because though? Because it was kind of a mistake. Yeah, it kind of. Um, My competitors might hear this, though. I don't know it, if no, that's a okay. good no, idea, they, Brian. They, yeah? know, they know how it happened. It, it, you know, so you've got, okay. and I'll, I'll even be up front, you've got you and you have Sing Electronics in the Toronto area. Yes. And Tor you know, that whole province is huge. That's where most of Canada is. In a 100-mile radius, there's 7.5 million <laughs> So people, having yeah. two distributors is not a big deal. <clears throat> Here's what happened, and this is just kind of weird how this. So Stephen Fleming. Who is who is one My of our who is this buddy? Stephen's him. been with us for a long time, yep. Forever, um, yeah. and even before I got on, this is like 11, 12 years ago. That was yeah. when I still talked to people. He's an OG. Yeah. Yeah. So so at, so basically, Stephen, we had him set up as not so much a distributor anymore because mm. he he stopped working and and or he stopped doing his big shop stuff, and uh, he was more of a competitor. Yep. And he was just helping our competitors up up in Canada. Yep. So while he was doing that, we brought on Sing Electronics to do the, the major distribution. Mm -hmm. But Sing is more retail side. They yeah, do they more are, like yeah, e I, they do like Canadian. I don't believe eBay and they do like distribution. And if they, they, they do, they do a, a very, a very little small bit. amount, yeah. So But uh, you know what, shout out to Sing Electronics. They 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 do a huge amount of business in the Toronto area. They do. Uh, anybody that wants and, to buy any car audio were, product there, they yeah. go to sing. You know, Both of you are bringing in yeah. tons of our equipment up there, so I yeah. can't complain about either of them. Yeah. So anyway, with, with Stephen Fleming, Stephen was like, hey, Brian, there's this, there's this I thought he said, there's this shop <laughs> that's that's down the road. They kind of want to combine with me. I was like, cool, yeah, yeah. If, yeah. You, if they want to place an order, let them go through you, and we can ship to them. No big deal. It's right down the road, blah, blah, blah. Yep. And then he start placing these really big orders. I'm like, oh, man, what's going on? Yeah, this is not, these aren't shop orders. I'm like, <laughs> what is going on with Stephen Fleming and this and this this J guy? Yeah, Steve's what's, killing what's it all of a sudden, here? man. <laughs> so we've come to find out you actually set up as a distributor. Yeah, and I'm like, oh shit. Well, I guess we have two two Canadian distributors now, or two Toronto. So distributors. you don't even know this, but I actually called you probably eight months before that. Okay, I, I told you I no, had, didn't I? And you had said <laughs> we have a distributor in the area, and I'm like there's nobody distributing sundown i know there's retailers but i didn't know if there was any distributors so i'm like you know what i'm i, I can't say no or i can't take no as an answer it's not it's not in my vocabulary <laughs> our product's like so, a drug you just so i'm like it. i'm like who who sells sundown steve fleming does okay that's it we're gonna become partners yeah so i called up steve and i said listen man i, I can't i can't do this in canada without having sundown and I mean that. You ask him. I wish he was here. I should have brought him with me. But he's so he different. I've yet to meet him in he's, person. Uh, he's honestly, man, as nice as he is on the phone, he's even better in person. Yeah, he's very nice he's guy. amazing. He's a Canadian. Oh, yeah. well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have some bad apples. Don't yeah, get us yeah. wrong. Man. We got Nick Semino, right? Yeah. Mo most Canadians I talk to are just <laughs> very calm. When I went to pick up the Terra, I drove to Canada. Oh, did you? Yeah. Whereabouts? Where Let's see. Right, right across the border, right past the, um, Buffalo. Niagara Falls? Right, Pat. Yeah, just right, Pat. I can't. Where did I go? I don't know. I wasn't with you. The Terra. Yeah. Who did you're, you get it from? Uh, it was originally belonged to Merlo Alvarez, and he left it in the area. Oh, you drove. I know exactly where you went. You probably went to uh, Ultimate Autosports. 
So, yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, but That's, we, we he's a funny five story minutes about this from my house. We loaded it on the trailer. We started driving. We stopped at McDonald's, and like we get out. We start to go, and like freaking ten guys start walking over toward us. So I was like, I'm gonna get beat up in Canada. Mm. And Never. Then, like, no. then like everybody was like, Hey, you guys need some more straps or anything for yeah. that? You got you got, like you, you need some help <laughs> with that weird car you got? And I was like, oh, Thanks, guys. <laughs> you want to hear the craziest thing about Canadians? <laughs> Nobody locks their doors. We go to bed at night. Their doors you, aren't even locked. Even in like, you know, Toronto, like the actual city. Uh, I don't know what downtown Toronto I could or anything. See it being but, a little rougher but, there. But where we live. People leave their doors open, so there's, you know there's a screen door. Yeah, yeah, so they leave that, that open. Airflow. It's just it, it's a different uh, Canada. It, don't get me wrong, Canada's got its downfalls, but I love I love Canada just for the reason there's really no crime. Like I think That's in good. our city there was two murders last year, and there's yeah. a million people. So sweet. Yeah, it's it's there's probably cool more here in this little town of Newton. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. Oh, so I was just telling these guys, anybody on the podcast that wants to hear this, I drove in here and and. RPU did the same thing, and we thought there's no way we're in the wrong spot. Like you, you, when you drove here, did you think the same thing? I'm like, Absolutely. that's no way. We're not in the right area. And then it took me to this road out here, and it had a uh, it was like a, almost like a dirt road that leads over here, but there's a, a gate. Oh, the metal gate. Yeah. The metal gate, and oh. that's the road it took me to. Yeah, a GPS. And I'm looking will take over, our and back, I our and I saw side. your Tesla. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I know that's it right there because I couldn't see anything else. Yeah, that's the back side of our building. Yeah, so GPS it took, takes me, people there all it the took time. me around, and then all of a sudden there's this street with everything on it, and I'm like, okay, okay, now I feel like I'm in the right area. Because <laughs> I'm like, there's, I feel like I'm out in the middle of the I country. I try to tell people to go to the entrance where the fire department is. That's yeah. the easiest way okay. for me to explain that to yeah. people. I, yeah. I didn't every, even think about every it. Every property that I own right now, except for one, the GPS won't take you there. Oh, like, really? This building, it takes you back there. Yep. My house right down the road, it takes you in the neighborhood behind my house. My other property where Donnie lives, it takes you to the industrial park behind the property. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. That's nuts. I was like, I have a talent for buying properties that GPS doesn't know about. <laughs> it was, uh, and, and for those of you that don't know, guys, anybody that's watching this podcast, this building is insane. It's a big one. Our RP can uh, definitely uh, validate that. I'm going to answer Ronco's question real quick. He says he wants a pair of lightweight Neo 12s with lots of X Max and low FS. So here's what we can do. Oh, yeah. the, oh. the new compact Neo V3s allow for a little more throw capability. I, don't I still don't suggest using I don't, I a don't Mega think Roll. I think that he wants that, honestly, because the QTS is like 0. 0.19 yeah. or something. It, you have to wait for the new Nightshades, yeah. is really what you should do. Yeah. Get a Nightshade but with a soft spider. He's the, actually super local to me. Is he? he? Comes to all the okay. shows. Well, the you you figure that out for him. Okay. Nightshade right. with a soft spider. What, what are you doing with it? Like ported box, sealed box, IB, whatever? If you actually put the old coil on a Nightshade version 5, it'll bring your Q up for like a sealed or IB. We act, we actually have a guy who traded a woofer in. Actually, it was a guy with the team woofer that we couldn't fix. Mm. He swapped out to a compact new V3 with a mega roll cone. <laughs> That's he, I, I he told him. Yeah, yeah. I told him, like, look, man, this is probably not going to work out too great for you. He's like, nope, I want that. So we're going to have to probably bias the coil a little bit. And No, you won't bottom that coil out. It, uh, the new one has like over four inches peak to peak. Yeah. Well, we'll wow. see how it goes. This, he'll be the only person I know that's got a compact Neo with a mega roll is zone. Is that new Neo in the building? Yeah. The NSV6? Yeah. 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 That is too. We, will, we we still can't show it on camera. On but camera, you, but, but I can, can see. You can oh, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. So I was going to say something. Actually, I have, a, I have a few customers in here right now that are watching this. Anybody that donates to Brian's Titty Bar Fund <laughs> will get free entry to the show on September 11th. So super, you got to do at least $25 chats. each. Well, okay. Well, thank you very much. Anybody Jay. that does that. For, for those people that don't know, I'm getting married soon and yeah. we're going to be doing a bachelor party soon. And he just wants to. Yeah, man. Add, we got to we gotta show him some support. So to, to do that, you hit the super chats button and you send whatever you want. Thank yeah. you very much in advance. If you guys give him a hundred bucks or more, I'll, I'll send you a, a gift. Yeah, I'll send you a T-shirt. Yeah, um, I, I don't have any, I'm going to grab a whole bunch of goodies. I don't have any here, made so. at the moment, but uh, Kyle's going to make me some Sunday After Dark shirts. I'll send them Beautiful. to you. Beautiful. Yeah, so any any of you guys. So I see Spencer Stanilands here and uh, Sterling Saunders. Uh, I think that's – yeah, it is Sterling. So he owns a company called Base Case Customs. Okay. He does um, custom base knobs and everything else. Beautiful. Great guy, too. Up by you or uh, – No, these guys are on the West Coast. Okay. So Spencer's a really good customer of mine. He's got uh, – I think he's doing like 163 dB with 415s or 418s or something like that. So he's got a pretty serious system happening. Sweet. But yeah, anybody watching this, and it doesn't just have to be on the live, guys. Anybody that uh, that hops on, just uh, send Brian some money for his uh, for his bachelor party. I'll okay. take care of you. Thank you very much in advance for that, guys. Yeah, that's big, cool. Big time. 
Um, so how do people get in touch with you if they're in if they're, if they're in Canada and they want they want to get our products? Yeah, so you can um, and actually real quick. Mm -hmm. And you don't just sell Sundown. What else do you sell? Let's, let's talk uh, about that real quick. So we are the distributor for Sundown Audio. So we're not the only distributor. Like I said, there is other ones. Uh, we are the only Canadian distributor for Down for Sound. So we sell all of uh, JP's products. Um, we're the Canadian distributor for Excess Power, for... Man, i got to try to remember all these. It's difficult. Uh, Limitless Lithium. Did you say Sky High? Uh, Sky High, I am a distributor, but uh, with Sky High, they have a lot of different things you know what i mean yeah so i don't uh I don't, there there's no exclusivity or anything like that with 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 uh, sky high but john's been great a lot me. of people like yeah. their wire and i'm sure it's what for well, sure yeah. for sure um intricate audio which is a new brand out of canada uh really good guy named shan jk um we're going to be carrying his his wire uh beautiful stuff um man we got so many it's hard to remember them all it's no, good uh there's more but, so yeah. if you're in that area and you want to purchase oh, prv yeah, if you want There's to purchase no. yeah. our products or those products in uh, in your province, how do they get a hold of you? So if you're a retail customer, you can go to caraudiodirect.ca or or a, uh, a you know a, a brick and mortar or B two B. You can do uh, there's a login on there, or you can sign up as a new dealer, and we'll get you approved as long as you meet the you know the criteria, and yep. we'll uh, we'll get some stuff happening. Yeah. Awesome, Jay. Well, thank yeah. you very much for, no, for I, being on. That's why I came down, guys. I uh, it was all about. Uh, you know, creating rapport and, like I said earlier, about the the relationship. Yep. That's the most important. Building a part relationship of business, is so. very important yeah. in this business. Um, you you get a little more promptness from me if I know you very well. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Everybody knows how busy Brian is. Yeah. RP knows all about it. He just yeah, the Brian me. you get on the phone and the Brian you get in person they're a little different. Yeah, but they're both good. They're both great guys. Yeah, I. Uh, <laughs> you, sometimes if you call me, you can tell mm -hmm. that I'm just like, yeah, I'm go go go. Yeah. Like, what do you need? All right, cool. Boom. Done. RP, it's your turn. What do we got going on at Soundcheck? Mr. SPL over there. Loud. It's RP like, is, is the man. <laughs> All we know how to do is loud, man. Your team has been crushing it the past couple of years with our products. Thank you very much. Oh, You're showing man. the world what you what you can do with Sundown products. Um, in general, I know you guys use a lot of the Compact Neos. You're switching out a lot of your vehicles from V2s to V3s now because the V3s out. Yep. Let's talk about uh, kind of your beginnings because I've never had you on the show. I've had Hank on here a million times. Got it. But I want to talk about how you got involved in car audio. How do you, how do you get your shop started? And what, what drove you to be such a competitor that you are today? Uh, Competitor-wise, it's got to be Hank and Lottie. Okay. Lottie is the uh, head installer at Soundtrack. Been with me since day one. Thank you very much, Charles Dickinson. Thank you very much. But uh, And Hank. That's the that's ninety nine percent of where the SPL motivation comes from. Well, gotcha. The, the Hank is why he has Sundown. Hank is a hundred percent why we have Sundown. Yep. Sundown actually never used to be in the shop, yep. and then uh, Hank, Hank did Hank, yep. <laughs> and then it's all over my shop, and that's the only brand that we sell now. Um, you got you got nothing else? Subwoofer and amp wise? I mean, we've got Memphis and. Uh, Odds and ends, crap. And, and you guys are in Lafayette, Indiana, right? Lafayette. Okay. Remember, you remember, were you, were you with <coughs> me when Hank traded and all that Memphis <coughs> shit? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. It took remember, me like five years. I remember, to it, I remember it sitting <laughs> in the shop for a while. That shit was horrible. <laughs> horrible. Hank used to come and buy like the cheapest woofers that we make, like just like 30 of them yeah. at a and time. And they were still better than the best you can buy. Yeah. Because <laughs> he just wanted to fill a Hank vehicle. Hank and RP at Soundcheck area. are the reason the original LCS caught on finally. Yeah, because yeah. they did like oh, 100 wow. billion zillion dB with with a pair of them. I don't remember what yeah. the number was, but it was a lot. You know? 70s, I think, on yeah. two of them. Yeah. Come on, really? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah Hank, that's that's wild. Hank pushed it. He definitely did. How many did you go through to get that 70 though? The you, very first two. No shit. Yep. Never blew. That, that was the old ones with the spade <laughs> and then, terminals and shit. And oh, then on man. top of that, obviously Hank. Every time he tests something in the shop. He never pays for anything. Right. It's always, you know, hey, I'm going to borrow this real quick. I'll give it right back to you. All right, cool. Beats the shit out of it. Puts it right back on the shelf. It's already done being in somebody else's car. <laughs> never been warranted. Somebody doesn't know those are the loudest Celsius. Yeah, the they, they got a 600-watt amp on it. They're happy. They're beating. Right. That's what I do here. I just take shit from the blunt, the like yeah. the almost working pile and throw yeah. it in my vehicle. You know, the it LCS works. was so good. And when you know this, the only thing I did for the V2 was I put a nicer basket, terminals, and a gasket on it. Because the design was just perfect. Yeah, yeah. It, absolutely. For a, for a shop that installs... On an average week, five to seven packages, which is basically 
two subs box prefab mm -hmm. line out a converter basic car throw it in there mom just wants it for the kid for whatever yeah or the kid wants it because he just got seven eight hundred bucks yeah um amazing packages they never come back never, never. Yeah, they literally will not come back. And they're cheap enough to where they probably won't come back because they'll just, just throw it away and buy another one. Yeah, I, I yeah. usually, if, if there is a blown up one, we usually just throw it away. Yeah. So, so the problem is right now is Sundown has none of them in stock, guys. I just looked in their warehouse. There's no <laughs> LCSs here at all. <laughs> there's only about 5,000. The walls are and, and lined I'm not joking. With there's 5,000. There's a lot of them here. I, yeah, I, I just can't believe it. Buy them all up, guys. And we can't uh, really put them on much of a sale because they're already no, cheap yeah. enough, uh, you know? It, what you'd be giving them away. At our that. distributors, right. like last year, like our distributors were buying those things like crack. Like it was unbelievable. So I was like, you know what? I'm getting a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah. No, you got a bunch. <laughs> that, yeah, that's sure. more than, I think we could build a pretty serious vehicle out of those. Yeah. Like 60 12s or something. <laughs> so RP, what, what you got going on with your extreme build right now? Extreme build. Uh, we basically tested a uh, single sub setup. Just, uh, I needed to know where the sub was going to break because of the abundance of power we put into it. So as of right now, we tapped out from 36 amps. So we're going to need some bigger amps soon. Damn. I just, I just thought about something to answer your question, RP. Yeah. Uh, you might actually need a longer winding coil. Yeah. I was thinking if, you're all, if your last winding actually leaves a magnetic gap, that might do some weird shit to your impedance. Absolutely. Are they, it's yeah. moving a lot, I assume. Um, yeah. This is with the new coil that we just... The old coils. No, okay. Old coils. Yeah. So I tested the point, dual point two five, dual point three five, and dual point five. Uh, dual point five, I got full power. Dual point three five, right around eighty five volts out of the amps. We just prototyped some point four fives with eight layer. Point four fives are going to be a little high, but we'll work it. Um, I'm I'm sticking to the point three fives. Okay. I'm going to give up the extra two clicks to get full stroke on the point three fives because the magnetic field is going to be a lot. Now better. you have eighteen woofers, right? Eighteen compact. And oh. so, what's your biggest numbers to date on that thing? On the V2s, yep, uh, 84.5. Good lord, that's scary. 86 plus at finals. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, this year What's with the V3s, right uh, 77 something. I, we didn't back up our 84.5s. No. Uh, what's the world record? Uh, an extreme. It gets reset every year. Oh, it does. So the loudest in the world is what you're asking. Yeah, Dante. It is on Dante. 85. Yeah. 85. Down in three. Brazil, right? What's, what's He's yeah, been doing on, 80s what's for 16k RP. Uh, I don't know, but 9k. <laughs> Nine volt, he'll tell you all day long. All day long. He's like Nick Samino. I swear to God. He'll find me. <laughs> oh. uh, I shouldn't talk about Nick, should I? No. <laughs> no. Well, no. Nick? Al Alan's a funny guy, though. Like, I've met Alan him. He, he's, he's pretty cool in person. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He, he is. is. Yeah. No, you can talk about Nick. Nick Nick's got thick skin sometimes. He's gonna think you don't like him if you don't talk shit about no, him. No, listen, uh, we all love Nick. <laughs> I like the guy. I, I, don't, oh, no. I don't have anything against him. Nick Nick actually yeah, he if he like I said, if he doesn't like you, he won't talk to you. I just I I I don't like people that have an excuse for something. No. And no matter what you say, no matter what you do, it always goes back to that one excuse. All those rules weren't available back then. Okay, mm. cool. So build something now. Hey, there's always that one excuse with that guy. It's I wish he was here. I'd l that would be an amazing podcast. Let you two go at it. <laughs> uh, yes. I'm telling so, you, that would be your, your best views ever. You know how many other... And then put Wayne Harris down at the end or something. <laughs> there's, there's been a lot of other podcast guys that have just nonstop gotten a hold of me. Like, dude, yeah. we got to get you on. And every single time, <laughs> oh, I message yeah. him right back. Hey, Hank's available. <laughs> yeah. Every Hank single loves him. He'll come on all the time. Hank's, Hank's <laughs> one of those, like, brothers for me. Yeah. He... No matter what he does, no matter where he does it, at the shop or around the shop, I will back him 110% because oh, I know awesome. he's always right, yeah. period. Even if mm -hmm. I know he's not right, I will still back him because that's what I will do. Right. So as impressive as your extreme vehicle is, I still think the most impressive vehicle you guys built was the Fiorino. Uh, Hank built. Oh, is that yeah. all Hank? That is 99% yeah, Hank. That thing's wow. ridiculous. Uh, that thing was being so at the impressive. Shop, and, and, and you know, you know, we use all the stuff from the shop, and mm -hmm. it is what it is, but... The design, 100% Hank. It is. It was, I've right. never seen a vehicle built that way. What did it do? 72? 72? Yeah. 72 74s. Seven. Come on, it did 74s? Dan, I think Dan's doing 74s right yeah. now. Yeah, and, well, he's, oh, and wow. he's putting, he's now going to start doing the V3s right. with the, those new coils. Yep. Yeah. Once, and we're going to see how it goes. Once everybody figures out all the parts for the V3s, yeah. it's going to be stupid. We're, we're trying to figure <laughs> out the, the <laughs> coil and, and spider combo for these. Because this, this motor has such more force than the V2. And the V2 was already enough. Yeah. This is a completely different so, design. 67% wow. more with the same coil. Yeah, so okay. you have to really stiffen shit up more than you would expect. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah, what yeah. we're finding. Yep. Honestly, I, I think that's, I, and 
people may disagree with me. I think that's the most impressive SPL vehicle ever built. I um, really do. I don't think there's agree. anything. It kind of I don't blew, think there's it kind anything of blew my mind. It. I was like, is that even possible? <laughs> <laughs> it, it really, because it's, and, and Nick's truck was impressive. Like it, it, three-time world champion or whatever. And that's five to seven dB louder. Right. That's, it's just, you, you can't even fathom it. Yeah, it's is a, it the it's loudest? Big, big is it still Super Street? Like, sorry, I may not call it that anymore. But stock windshield, stock front end of the vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, that's the Freno's most, that, is by far super most. Super 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 right? yeah, I yeah. think that's the most impressive vehicle to ever built. Mm-hmm. I really do. And it's, t- it's so, still no wall, right? Still no wall. What about if you uh, made that? Yeah, it's still yeah. no wall. What about what? if you made that extreme? What do you got going on with the um, bigger, or better? Wow! Did you see his face? Oh, you guys are already crazy <laughs> loud. <laughs> what do you got going on with the 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 Terra? Is that kind of put to side for a little bit, or are you still working on that? Or do you want to talk about it? Because I see your face. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Right. We don't have anything to hide. We'll just, right, see, so we'll just see what happens at we'll finals. We'll go back to what you said. Oh, cats out of the bag. The bench. most uh, <laughs> impressive vehicle out there, I'll chalk the inf- – uh, I'll say the So Terra. there's a new one? Yeah, the Terra? The Terra? Oh, no really? questions asked. Oh, wow. On, on two woofers, 74s. Like it's, wow. His certified right now is annual record is a 73. That's an insane number for two woofers. For two woofers. That puts the Fiorino to shame because yeah. of the amount of woofers. The amount of power, too, in the Fiorino, yeah. Yes, but the Terra is not using anywhere close to that power. No, that's what I mean. Yeah, right. like the Fiorino is using what? And 100K? Those, those were on quad coil V2s. Mm. So you can chime in and uh, let us know how much of a difference we're talking here. The, you know what? I never even tested those. No. So I'm not sure. You can't. Kill. Oh, yeah, you're the only one who's got I'm the still quads. I'm using yeah, so the same coils on these um, things. I can't how kill How many them. subs go in that Terra? Again? Four. All right, yeah, I need, I need to get you your quad coil V3s. Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> but the uh, four of the quad coils to two V3s, less power and more score. Mm. So uh, V3s are going in for finals for sure. That's, um, that's really impressive considering how much coil is in that V2 quad coil. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we, took the prototype, yeah. we took the prototype to you guys at finals last year yep. in yep. George, George's vehicle, right? Yep. And uh, he, he gained he, less power, more output. Yep. It was, it was a pretty significant yeah, But every increase. single vehicle that we have done the V3s in has been that scenario. It's less power and a good chunk of the score. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, we, and we still have room to grow in that motor with, with coil experimentation. Yeah. Just soft parts alone, for yeah. sure. I have yeah. a, I'm working on the spiders that are already pre-sized for the coil and all that. Absolutely. Oh, thank God. Yeah. That'll make everybody happier. Because right now you got cut, you have to basically customize all your par- yeah, we, parts we, to make it We made it a hone that we put on a drill with sandpaper on it. <laughs> right. And one person holds the drill, one person holds the sandpaper, and we just kind of go this. There you go. We have, we, you can get those cheap barrel sanders from Harbor Freight. Yeah. They yeah, work then great. Then it ovals it out. Yeah. You got to be, Yeah. they want it perfect. Okay, yeah, I got gotta you. Be, yeah. I got you. What else you guys got going on over there at Soundcheck? SPL. I mean, literally, I mean, we are a full-blown car audio shop. Yeah. Our day-to-day business is our day-to-day business and remote start season is our bread and butter for the there winter. There it goes, yep. But, uh, it gets cold out there. It does, but when, when it comes to the shop time and when it comes to SPL, that is when we get to actually play. Um, so, so typically for the last year at least, because I absolutely hate doing installs and absolutely hate. <laughs> I got, I got burnt out myself. industry, other than SPL, is I typically, I dump everything onto Mondays, and Monday is what we call our shit day. Mm-hmm. So everybody comes in on Monday, don't call in, don't do shit, just come into work, bust ass, get it done, and then we get Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday to fuck off and have fun. So, <laughs> so you get all your regular install work done on Mondays? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Three installers, wow. packed, let's get it done, and let's move and it on. It may move to a Tuesday if it's real busy, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah but... You know, and that way we can enjoy the week and uh, play with uh, SPL vehicles, and that's, that's awesome. typically what we all like that doing. That is awesome, yeah. Um, Hank doesn't work there as much as everybody thinks that yeah, yeah, he's he, there 24 He's got a, he's a, a, yeah, a factory he's a, job, Yeah, right? he's an SIA guy, and yeah. he gets off work, you know, 2 o'clock, so 2 or 3 o'clock. So he is there every single day from, like, 3 o'clock to whenever. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of Hank, where is he? Is he, is he coming down? He actually had to work, so he oh, may or may not be coming down tonight. Okay. No, we don't know yet. There's a bunch of people, a bunch of what we call regulars, that aren't going to be able to make it this year. So it sucks. But then we got some some new folks. Yeah, and it's it's odd that you've never been here. Never. Because we talk all the time. We see, we see you at all the shows, but you just mm-hmm. never made your way to our, our shop. Never. So that's really mm-hmm. awesome. Uh, in general, um, for... <coughs> Super Omega 500K. Yeah. <laughs> I assume you take on big jobs for, for people 
anywhere. Yep. Like, if as long as they bring their vehicle to you, you can build them an SPL vehicle. Yeah. So we you, just, you do uh, offer that. We just finished one up for Ninja. Yeah. Uh, everybody knows Ninja. Yep. Um, you, uh, Charles Dickinson, right? You did something for him? He, Charles Dickinson. Uh, you'd have to tell me the vehicle. I don't remember his vehicle. <laughs> okay. he, I, I'm a vehicle person, so yep. um, we are currently working on a new one right now, which... He's in, that's a Florida guy. Charles is in Florida. Okay. Uh, Dave is building us woofers for right now okay. for another Suburban that we're building now. I got to um, go get the grill here in a minute. Light so caravan, back. he says. The grill. Whoa, Whoa Charles. Hey, hey what up, bud? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tacos. Yes, yeah. I know, Charles. Oh, shoot. We're going to have tacos later. Oh, uh, yeah. No, 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 no. I, I think uh, what, what, what I was mistaken on there was that's not, that's not a shop vehicle. We didn't charge for that. That's not a uh, oh, okay. customer's vehicle. That was a... Uh, you need to beat Rob Kohler in Super Shoot 1-2. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. So drive your happy ass over to Lafayette, <laughs> and uh, we're going to make that happen. So, I gotcha. so just to clear this up, so people can actually call you guys up and you'll build SPL vehicles for them? All day long. That's amazing. All day long. That's uh, mostly, amazing. Mostly demo vehicles. Yeah. Um, we, The SPL, what people don't understand is it's not... It takes time. Yeah, I'm not, you don't I just build an SPL something. vehicle and it's done. I, I mean, Nick Amino, welcome. Come on. Yeah. I, I'll build you something. You can take it and get the same number for three years straight. I'm cool with that. But an SPL yeah. guy is going to want a better number every single day. Yeah, it's something where you got you got to devote so, a lot of time and yeah. effort. And, and, and demo and builds love. will do that a lot. Kyle says to take Clippo back with you. <laughs> Kyle. A- Apex. Oh. Rufford. <laughs> it's sitting right out here. I'll take it. take it. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> I'll take it home. Um, but anyway, how can people reach you if they want that service? All right. So if you want, like, a Subbox amp installed, uh, get on the waiting list because uh, – it, it call the shop. How did they get in touch with you? Seven six five two four two forty four forty. It's in no. Lafayette, Indiana. <laughs> That's my cell phone number. No, um, yeah. yeah, but for you just a, gave your cell phone number to all yeah, these yeah, people. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> the demo vehicles, um, Facebook man, just uh, get a hold of me on Facebook and uh, RP Patel. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, and we can schedule something up. Um, I mean, I don't have a lot of local guys on here, so that's not an issue. Uh, but the the car audio, like the demo guys and shit. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, Facebook it and uh, message me. Awesome, uh, and we definitely look forward to see you keep hitting those big numbers every year. Every year, it's 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 bigger and bigger. So every year. we're just waiting for it to plateau, but don't do it anytime soon. Nah. Yeah. Um, Ethan, What's what up? you doing, man? Chilling. Staying at my house tonight, aren't you? I. That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Past two nights, he was supposed to stay at my house. He ended up staying at Dave's. Yeah. So we 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 cleaned up the whole damn place, got the bed ready for him. <laughs> It's sitting there with your towels and your little mint and everything. And it's just, oh, just waiting oh, for you. Excited. <laughs> wow. excited. A mint yeah, on the yeah. pillow. Brandon messaged me last night and he was like, hey, come out with us. And I was like, uh, you got to come get me because <laughs> I don't have a vehicle. You were supposed to get, by the way, so months ago, you and I were talking. And you were like, yeah, I'm going to fly down. Uh, I'm going to rent a vehicle this time because, you know, I want to be. Don't be a burden on anybody. And then you end up not renting no, no a vehicle. vehicle. <laughs> you just forget about it. Yeah, I no. totally blanked. Damn. Yeah. I mean, you can borrow my FRS if you want. I've got a lot driving. going on right now with like the business and everything. So gotcha. Well, I'm renting a vehicle now. is a business expense. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a, a first class flight from from Canada. That works too. Yeah. <laughs> How was your flight? So the flight was fine. Um, is this just one shot? Or did no, you I had a layover in New York. Uh, but my flight actually got delayed an hour, which was great because I barely had to get up earlier than I normally do. So it was fine. It was pretty easy. Got a way overpriced breakfast in New York. You fly out of Bangor? Portland, actually. Portland, okay. Yeah. It was a little bit cheaper. Gotcha. Yeah. I flew into Bangor when I went up to Maine last time. It's tiny. It is tiny. And actually, I flew up there. It was like end of March, early April. This was 2006, 2007. Yeah. Um, actually, 2005. I flew up there. That's when I got my tattoo where it says I'm crazy. Yeah. Um, I flew up there at the, at, in springtime from North Carolina, and there was mounds of snow on the ground. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what is going on up here? <laughs> yeah. I saw moose and shit. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Half the year is more than half the year is winter in Maine. It's horrible. Yeah. It I wasn't snowing. It. it was actually really, really beautiful weather up there at that time. But there was still like these huge mounds of where they pushed it all in one spot. Oh, yeah. yeah. All over the place. There's been like... I've seen snow in June in Maine before. It's Bro, I love the snow. June. I love, love it too. Snow. I love it too. We don't get we get like one or two good snows here in North Carolina. It, it may it, What's a good snow? 
The biggest we ever get is usually 12 inches at the most. Okay, that's a decent okay. amount. But yeah. that's, that's, I thought he was going to say two us. or three inches. No, that's about what we get. Yeah. But, yeah. But, but that's like maybe once every three or four years. Usually if it snows, it's mm. like two to three inches. It's gone the next day. Does the whole does the whole state shut yes. down? Yes, the whole state yeah. shuts down. Schools close for a yeah. week. No. In Canada, it's like yeah. I think people drive better when there's snow. Well, I, like I said, I grew up in Philly, <laughs> yeah, so for for the schools to close in Philadelphia, it was like six inches or more, or or, or, or it had to be a that's, mess. That's everywhere though. Yeah, yeah it's that, the same in Canada. Yeah. Get like six it, or more. Like, I remember They're worried the, about the kids. I remember yeah. the blizzard of '96 came through when I was living up there, and it was like three foot of snow in, in within oh, yeah, two days. That's vicious. That was insane. That's vicious. Because and I was you know young at the time, so I'm like it was like up to my nipples. And snow. <laughs> I had to say nipples. I have to, I have to at least get nipples uh, once yeah, on the show. For sure. Demonetized <laughs> just like that. Uh, yeah. whatever. I'm surprised we haven't been demonetized yet. <laughs> yeah, what's his name just got uh, shut down? I don't know if you guys watch YouTube. Uh, Steve will do it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've he got it. his uh, YouTube channel got taken down. Okay. Well. Yeah. Vicious. Hmm. Millions of dollars gone. It's a big just business like when you get into it. Thankfully, oh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't make much money here. So well, They were saying yeah. <laughs> Mr. Beast made like $7 million last month. Yeah. He's he's only three hours. Yeah, you know, Mr. Beast's only three hours away from here. Oh, is he really? Yeah, he's oh, on the wow. other side of the wow. state. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. Dude. Actually, Crazy. he lives where uh, Kyle used to live. So Kyle's we oh, used wow. to see him from time to time, and I think it's. Like I've heard little, he still lives like even though he's he's worth all this money, he just lives very basic. Yeah, nothing crazy. He's a good dude. He's actually yeah. does a lot for his community. Oh, so I, lo- I love seeing influencers oh, cool. do that. Yeah. So. Back to back to Ethan over here. What you guys got going on over at? Um, the amp lab we got a few things going on so we are we just announced troy's been working like crazy on it we um, just got people showing up it's all right <laughs> how's it going you want to talk to rp no. oh you just want to check out the room yeah we're live have a seat yeah we're live no? right now people can see you by the way <laughs> they can this, see you this, and hear this you. camera's got you <laughs> but anyway yeah you're welcome to just look we're gonna have people walking in and okay. out of here all the time it's okay yeah so um Troy's been going crazy working on this new uh, Bluetooth bass knob. Yes. Universal bass knob. So that's going to be that is really cool. awesome. Yeah. Is it like a one input, multiple outputs type of thing? or? So there'll be a bass that you hook up. So you get your RCAs from whatever your source mm-hmm. unit is, your head unit or whatever. And there'll be a bass that you put by your amplifier so that you have your signal coming in. Yep. Um, and then the bass just connects to your knob and you can just do it from anywhere. Because I know like with my vehicle, I don't usually want to like sit in my vehicle because i don't have seats Look, in it or stuff see if he can do one with multiple outputs like a cock box type of thing multiple what do you mean like what w- instead of one output for the use a base knob right you have your yeah. input and you have your output yeah instead of having one output where you have to use a splitter or a cock box see if he can do one with like multiple outputs multiple rca outputs in one shot yeah that, i don't think that'd be too difficult that would be amazing and then if you can do them as like a kind of like a line driver where there's some extra power so that way you don't, you don't lose throughout the line. I think multiple outputs would just be like dependent on the case because we're going to have slam pan to making up the cases. So I'm pretty sure he can just put in as many outputs as you'd want on it. Okay. Why do you have something in mind? Well, I've always wanted and not even so much the Bluetooth things are like actually really cool. I never even thought about that. But I've always wanted a line driver type of thing where like like a cock box where you it was powered. Yeah. Where you you don't lose your output because you split so many freaking RCA outputs, that and and right now to get something like that you have to buy like a freaking twelve hundred dollar processor, with mm. all the outputs. I want just like a cockbox type of thing, mm. one input or maybe two inputs, but like twelve outputs. You know, some for people like RP who have all these amps. You Is know? that not out there? <laughs> Is there nothing you can get outside of like a processor? I don't think so. Yeah. I've looked. I use uh, audio control. Yep. That's what I'll do. Yep. And, and a lot of people do the, the audio, and they go from audio control to the, like a cock box. The DMA10? Yeah, DMA10. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. uh, to a uh, matrix. Audio but is this, that's, there's, that's so much, there's so much involved there. Why not yeah. just have one device? Um, yeah. That's that's what I like. That's time alignment, uh, a lot of features on the 910. For gotcha. people like me. Right. Not your Brian just demo wants guys. it in and out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, your, your demo guy. <laughs> you can have, I mean, you can do a gain per, but like, I, I think. I think as long as they all have the same output, yeah, I, you, you should be fine. And you can just do your gains on your amps or whatever. Yep. So. See what he can do. Yeah. I don't need it. Somebody else. Some other people would need it, though, you know? Yeah. So I'm excited for Sell it to Sundown. We'll put our name on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm excited for the knobs because, like, I don't even want to sit in my vehicle when I'm demoing it. I want to just be able to stand outside and control yep. everything. Yep. And, like, having the dual knobs as well for the people that will, run. Will it be, like, Bluetooth as in using your phone type of thing or, like, an app? Uh, that m might happen, but you'll have an actual – like, do you know the Slam Panda knobs? Mm, yes. Yeah, the, the big old that, thing. Just yeah. with no wires on it, just a handheld – no wires, Bluetooth, base knob. That's cool. Yeah, it'd be universal. You guys were working on some kind of clipping device at one point, too. Yeah, you? we've got a couple of them out, and we're working on our V2 of our uh, basically clip indicator. So we've got a lot of stuff going on. Troy's just a mad scientist that he's yep. always trying to invent and build new things. And that's awesome. That's what he wants to do. He wants to, like, build things all the time and create new things. So. He's a tinkerer. Yeah. That's he awesome. Is. Yeah. He's like the mad scientist. He also likes to go up in the air and fly. And fly all around. In his yeah. little, was it a para, para, paramotor? Yeah. Paramotor, yeah. Yeah. Just a big butt fan. Why isn't he oh, here? Oh, the thing that goes on the back? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He does that all yeah, the time. Yeah, it's scary. It's no, like a big man. fan on your back and you have a, a what's yeah, it called? Just a, like a That's parachute. Scary. Yeah, a parachute. Right, there you go. That's not for me. No. Yeah, no. He it's, loves it. It's sketchy, oh. for sure. Yeah, he's it, not. I told him. Uh, like two or three months ago, I was like, all right, I'm going to book my ticket. Are you coming with me? Like, we're going to have to get hotels and stuff if you're coming with me. And then he's like, oh, I don't know. And then I was like, all right, he can, I'm he giving can you. stay in my house too. I got enough room. Well, that's not what it was about anyway. But I was like, all right, I'm giving you two weeks and make up your mind. And then I'm booking the ticket. So I gave him two weeks. He's like, ah, I can't go. So. <laughs> Damn. I know, but I told It's I was, been like five years since I've seen him. Yeah, I was just telling him. I was like, we got to go. We haven't gone to a big show together in like four or five years. Yeah. So I was like, we have to do another big show. Like, next I think year last together. time I saw him, you were still married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's been <laughs> four years. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> we were still in the old building at the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. So. He's never been here. He's never been to this building. No, yeah. Well, tell him he's welcome. You guys can come anytime. You know, he doesn't have to be for our show. Yeah. 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 Come yeah, in and have some down. fun. Yeah. Do some How long things. was your flight? Uh, so I flew to New York, and oh, that was right. like yeah, to stop over. less than an hour. And then New York to here was two. Two? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. your flight's longer than his. We got here in an <laughs> hour and 30 minutes from, well, Buffalo. An hour and 30 minutes. I drove 10 hours. <laughs> I, I know. I wasn't doing <laughs> it, man. I'm done I drove, driving. I've driven here enough I, times. I'm listen, done. Yeah. Oh. I drove. <laughs> you guys aren't going to believe this. I drove once with... Uh, a 10,000 pound SPL vehicle from Toronto to uh, Daytona Beach for Jesus. Spring Break Nationals. Mm -mm. 44 hours there, 42 mm -hmm. coming back. Nope. And Nick Sweeney was in the car with me. Oh, great. <laughs> great. <laughs> Not doing those drives. He sleeps anymore. the whole time, though, so it's okay. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's vicious. Like, I, I, And we were going 70 kilometers an hour because it was like this the truck truck couldn't handle the, uh, the weight of the van. Our yeah. uh, Astro van weighed in 25K last oh. year. Oh. God. 25 th what is it all concrete uh, it's all steel you got it's a commercial steel. license wow. for that damn thing <laughs> i got a driver what do you <laughs> have to do to the suspension at that point is it all welded yeah it's all welded. yeah so i bought a brand new trailer last year a triaxle to go to alabama four flat tires on the way there and three on the way back seven hour trip turned into a 10 hour trip there That's 10 hour insane. trip back. why why so many flats was it because it was so heavy or you just yeah, are you over, just picking up stuff yeah i just overweight on the tires. Yeah, is that yeah. is that Chris Norris's old van? Yep. Yeah. Yep. I, I remember, remember when he built I remember that. Chris Norris. Yeah. yeah. yeah Chris so. was uh, Chris wasn't afraid to work, man. That guy used to yep. bust his ass, and he would do it quick too. I remember he would have a, a van three weeks before finals. It would be completely gutted, mm -hmm. and build yeah. an entire new system. I see people do that shit all the time. He like, had this. I don't know, uh, you I don't do know do if it. you remember this in that van when he first built it. He had a, a removable wall of batteries all welded yeah, yeah that, came that came out it was insane mm. yeah i remember it. the amount of work that that guy he would had put in. sundown stuff at one point i, I remember chris, chris i don't know if he's competing that late when did sundown come out 17 or sorry 07 chris, it might be a different person i'm thinking of but i think yeah. chris norris chris I used is to og talk like 99 2000 oh, back then okay but this is jaime yeah, that might days. be a different person i'm thinking of mm. oh well. when anyway. did you rp when did you get started sorry to interrupt guys yeah. no you're good mm, six oh six, six. No, Which is when we started our company. Yeah. That was our yeah. first year at World Finals. We got like, nice. I think we got, this was back when there was like, I think 15 people per bracket and you had to fight your way through. The yeah, bracket. those days I are think, gone. Yeah. I think we ended up with like sixth or seventh that year. Mm -hmm. uh, it was for fun kind of scenario. And then. Yeah. yeah. And our class in 01, or sorry, in 2000 was 31 competitors at finals. Yeah. 
and then they bracketed it down to eight. We're, we're yeah, hope- it was insane. I, I've noticed. I've have noticed an uptick again. Finally, in competing, it's it's getting better. Well, if if you went to Slam this year, I, anybody who went to Slam this year would realize that car audio is definitely on an on an up, yeah, uptick. It is. It's and and Slam this year, you didn't even have uh, DB Drag there. You know, they, no. they, they're at they're at uh, RPs the night before. So insane. imagine if they were there this past year. But mm-hmm. you know, in previous years, I noticed especially at Slam or these big shows more and more people competing and it's really nice to see even sundown show last year was like maxed out that yeah. race track was totally maxed out past three years it's been completely maxed out yeah wow yeah. really and we yeah, really last don't year though i remember was like particularly bad it's like a racetrack yeah the thing is we don't want to get another place because this place uh, this venue treats us very well and it's not far away either it's not far away yeah they they don't charge us anything it's they make all the money with the people coming in nice. um and it's still cheap enough for people to get in. Um, they yeah. and they make money on their concessions. Yeah. But we have this good um, rapport with them, a good relationship. Yeah. Um, they 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 were very skeptical the first year we did the the show there. Then they're like, "Holy shit, this is amazing!" We we were bringing in more money for them than their regular races. Oh, that's amazing. So they they're keeping us. We're keeping them. We w- we have been talking to them about maybe expanding the track. <laughs> to, or to do something on the outside to make to just bring the show out further because right. yep. it's it's getting too big mm-hmm. and it's a one day show it's a horrible problem to have <laughs> you know it's crazy yeah yeah show growing so anyway yeah. we're gonna go ahead and stop it here um, get something to drink get some get some food here shortly Tacos. I want to thank you guys you three very much for coming on the show thanks for having me Cardio man. Direct yeah. in Toronto yeah Hamilton Toronto same thing yeah uh, the Amp Lab up in Maine and Sound Check in Indiana. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you again for watching. Uh, we'll probably be live later on with Jacob and Stevie's weightlifting competition. Yep. Check that out. Yeah. That's-